In the morning I raise my head And I'm thinking the day's gone by And the thing I want out of life is In the morning I raise my head And I'm thinking of days gone by And the thing I want out of life is Get this God blessed mask off because it's hot we're gonna do some kiss today, right here on Geargasms. That is just such a mean riff. I love it. Halloween, everybody, and welcome to Geargasms. I'm your host, Alan Barnes. Today, we've got the Ibanez PS120, the Paul Stanley model. Now, it's not just Halloween. It's your old buddy's birthday. I'm turning double nickels, 55. And when you get to be my age, you start to make milestone birthdays instead of just the tens. You make them on the fives. It starts off with dirty 30, then it's lordy lordy look who's 40 and then ain't it nifty something about being 50 there's not a damn thing nifty about being 50 unless you like watching your own body rot from the inside Aww. i decided to mark the occasion with not one but two guitars so i'm going to do one this week and i'm going to do one next week you're not going to be able to see what next week says until next week keep the suspense going so i decided for my landmark 55th birthday to get two guitars the first one being this beautiful beast i'm going to plug this thing in we're going to play it clean and certainly we'll play it dirty obviously we're going to do some kiss tunes we're going to get to do everything with this ps120 that i know you guys want me to do but first a real quick unboxing and then the data Okay, I know how you millennials and Gen Z people, you love the unboxings. I got something really cool for you today. It's Ibanez. And here it is inside the box. You can see it's like a ghost wrapped inside, sort of a sloppy loose guitar rubber prophylactic condom, whatever you want to call it. Oh, headstock. Whoops, I ripped the condom. The Paul Stanley PS120, made by Ibanez. All right, it is the Ibanez PS120. Look at there, we got Paul Stanley's signature. It is mahogany body, multi-piece mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard, abalone and mother of pearl inlays, as you can see there. Nice big fat frets, maple top, abalone binding all around name of the man himself right there the duncan custom 5 in the bridge and the duncan 59 in the neck mirror pit guard full tone bridge and stop piece we'll get more into that later the tail piece two volumes one tone ibanez brand sealed tuners made in china it is a set neck got lots and lots of upper access all right, as you can see, still got the old tagger on it. I've got it plugged in first because I know you guys want to hear the clean. I've got it plugged in to the Fender Blues Junior, which is a lie detector test for guitar tone. I know some of you weirdos are going to want to hear this guitar clean, so I'll, I'll indulge you. We'll start off with the neck pickup. Remember, I am in E flat for all the kiss stuff. Just so you know, so don't try to play along at home. I'll strum some chords and then play some single notes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
tone all the way back. Now you hear that? That's an example of a tone control Mino Likey. It just throws a big effing sock over it. Let's turn it back all the way up. Turn it about halfway down. It just goes away. The bridge and the neck pickup together, of course, that's the the, the custom five. single notes bridge pick up Now one thing, a couple things about this guitar, the weight of it is really, really nice. I like it. I like the feel of the neck in my hands. It is a gloss neck. I'm not in love with those, but it's kind of what Les Pauls do too. It's got a pretty fat neck and a, and a nice wide width of the fingerboard there. It doesn't feel cramped at all. The big frets really fall underneath the fingers really, really well. And it's got a really good weight and balance to it, which sort of surprised me. I thought it would be more like a like a firebird and do a little neck dive. It is a little longer when you're reaching around here to tune up, but man, this thing plays great. Now let's take this thing and play it the way you really want to hear it through a big, hairy fucking Marshall. Now I know the first thing you're going to want to do when you get a guitar like this is plug it into the Marshall on the bridge pickup. That's what I did. And of course, the first riff I played was this. Not quite that sloppily, but that's what I played. Of course, it'll do big chords like this of course it'll do this I know you're already asking do that it'll also do this Come on and flub me. Because <laughs> I made a mistake. I'm always making mistakes. <laughs> It'll do that.
So now we'll do all those kiss type things. Let's hear the neck pickup. <laughs> Both pickups together. Like that. And before I forget to mention it, it does have a bone nut, and of course it does. It's a Paul Stanley guitar, because you know he's boned lots and lots of women. Aww. I also got this super cool strap for it, sort of Paul Stanley's it out. I think DiMaggio makes it. I got it on Amazon. I'm sorry, I know, but all of my music stores didn't have anything cool like this. And it really goes along well with guitar and fits the theme. The first thing you're going to want to do when you get one of these is plug it into a high gain amp and do this. Sweet. It'll also do this. that shit. you could also do this some lead. You can do Eddie stuff on it since everybody's still all about Eddie right now. Here the neck pickup. Let's hear both together. And the bridge. Fred Access is really, really good.
what did we learn today? We learned that the Ibanez, they used to call it the Iceman, now it's the PS120, is kind of overlooked in discussions about an alternative to a Les Paul. When people are looking for a double humbucker, set neck, 24.75 inch scale, with that recipe, mahogany body, maple top, a couple of rip roaring pickups, but this thing plays like a beast. It's a sleeper out there in the double humbucker, set neck, Les Paul kind of recipe community, and it shouldn't be. We also learned that if you put a track in one of your YouTube videos that has Kiss playing, even if it's just a backing track with you playing on top of it, Gene Simmons' ears will hear it, he will grab it, he will take all your money. We also learned that this full tone bridge and tailpiece, it's a lot like a tunematic, but with one, one major difference that I love. It's got slots on the top of the tailpiece and you slip the strings in there. You don't have to weave them through because you know what happens when you're weaving the string through on a normal guitar like this, especially a black one. You're going to get little scratches as you drag that ball in across the face of your guitar. This thing, you just pop it in there, snap it to the side, and run it straight up the neck. Beautiful. As always, I thank you for your time. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to watch. Hit the like button on this video. All of those things help this channel to grow. And if this channel continues to grow, I can keep making better and better content for you guys. Everybody wins. Buy a t-shirt, you cheap bastards. Aww. Whatever you do in the next seven days, don't tell Paul Stanley about it. He'll just slap a wig on it put a fake vocal track underneath it, make it stand on the stage, and lip sync all your favorite Kiss songs to you, all the while charging you full price for a ticket. Make sure you come back next week, because I'm going to be doing my other birthday guitar. It's a mystery. You'll find out next Friday. Meanwhile, play more guitar, watch less YouTube, and keep coming back here week after week for more Geargasms. Mm -hmm.